Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. My name is Bobby Conway. I am here with Jason Jimenez in the studio, who's an author, speaker, apologist. Good to have you on the program, bro. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you have me. You know, Jason, one of the things that I've observed during my existence is I haven't seen like T-Rex roaming the earth. So this begs the question, what has happened to the dinosaurs? Well, I haven't seen dinosaurs either. Okay, maybe in my, in my dreams, but <laughs> that, is, that is actually a great question. And, and again, like we were saying earlier, there are two different views, obviously, that people hold to what happened to the dinosaurs that are the old earthers and the, and the young earthers, typically old earthers. Uh, most of them would say that 65 million years ago, a meteor hit the earth and, and devastated and killed them off. Where young earthers would say that the dinosaurs were made when God was making the other animals, like the, the great creatures of, of the sea in Genesis 1, There's a reference of that. And so a lot of them think that they were on the ark. And then after the ark, after the ice age and the continental drifting and the different change of climate, of course, diseases, um, they weren't able to survive. They suffered through different things, hunters, whatever. And eventually they became extinct. Um, so whatever, you know, somebody holds an old earth, they don't have to really believe that the dinosaurs were on the ark because they died off beforehand. But the ones that uh, believe that dinosaurs existed during creation, they were among humans, they were on the ark, would say that eventually they became extinct because it just, again, they were failed to adapt to their environment some, to, to some extent. But I think it's also for, for your viewers to understand that a lot of times I also get the question is, well, why isn't the term dragon used or, or the dinosaur used within within scripture? And that's actually a good question because oftentimes when they look at the Bible, they say, well, the word dinosaur isn't used, therefore the dinosaurs are already gone. And maybe that is the case and maybe they died off millions of years ago. Well, what people need to understand is that in our English translations, we have the Geneva and the King James, right, in the 16th and 17th century. Well, that's where we tend to, to get our English translations from. Well, Richard, you know, Sir Richard, he was the one that applied the term dinosaur, which is just, you know, a terrible lizard in about 1841. So the term itself wasn't necessarily used. But when you do look in scripture, I mean, I think the argument is strongly made that you can look at terms like the dragon or the behemoth or the Leviathan in Job 40, 41. There's this great dragon that, that Ezekiel himself talks about in his book. And so there's references that look like these are mentioning of dinosaurs. And so if that's the case, then obviously dinosaurs are there even as, as civilization was thriving. So in the end, what happened to them? Some people thought, you know, meteor hit. But here's what I have to say to that though. If the meteor was that impactful millions of years ago, I don't think the earth would have never ever recovered. Plus it would have annihilated all the millions of fossils that we have of dinosaurs to begin with. So I tend to think that the dinosaurs lived on the ark and then eventually they became extinct for natural causes. Yeah, I appreciate you sharing that. I think it's also helpful for people to understand these weren't full grown dinosaurs. Perhaps right. were getting on the ark. Yeah, a lot exactly. of them were a lot smaller and everything. So exactly. well said.